Hello everyone, and welcome to this Excel tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to group the A equal number of rows in the same column, and how to use it as a dynamic formula in Excel. For an example, here, I have counted the positive numbers from the first 10 number of rows where, between A2 to 11, and divide the returned value with 8, then the result is reflected on the cell B2, the same way, in B3, we have to count the positive numbers from the second 10 rows where, between A12 to A21, and divide it by 8, and so on. Let's see how we can develop a dynamic formula in Excel to solve this Excel formula challenge. To solve this, we have to use COUNTIF function. In cell B2, the formula will be, count if, open bracket, then the cell range is from A2 to 11 then, the criteria is greater than 0, and divide by 8. But we cannot copy down this formula to B3, since the ranges are not dynamically fixed, as we expected. The cell ranges in B3, should be from A12 to A21. Here, we can see that, we need to group the column cell ranges equally by 10 rows where it from A2 to 11, and A12 to A21 and so on. To make it easier, first I will call the cell ranges like, address 1 and 2. Cell address 1 will be A2 and A12, and the address 2 will be A11 and A21. Next, I will use Excel row formula to generate the column row number. Hence equal, row function, open and close parenthesis, and hit enter. Now it returned me the active row number, if I copy down it will return me the following active row number which is 3, but from the address 1, I need 12, for this I will do some adjustment in the Excel row function. So, I will multiply the formula by 10, and hit enter, it returned me 20, but still I need 2. So I will do some further adjustment, I will subtract 2 from the row function then multiply by 10, then I will add 2, now I copy down the formula. Now you can see it returned me the exact row number what I expected in address 1 and 2. So, let's do the same for the address 2 as well, but here first value A I need 11, so I will deduct 1 from the row and then multiply by 10, then I will add 1 from the returned values. Then copy down. Ok, now we have grouped the column by equal row numbers, and we can use for our dynamic Excel formula. Next, before we use this numbers we should convert as an Excel cell addresses, for this we can use Excel address function. So, I will combine the Excel address function with existing formula. Hence, equal, address, then the row number will be our calculated cell number, then column number will be 1, since we are working with a first column. Then close bracket, and hit enter. Now it returned me with proper cell address. Now just copy down. Let's do the same for address 2 as well. OK. Next, let's create the dynamic Excel formula to solve the problem. In cell B2, equal, count if, open bracket, next, to return the values from the defined cell address ranges we have to use Excel indirect function where to return the valid reference from a given text string, since our defined cell address are representing as a text string. Hence, indirect, open bracket. Then the reference will be our address 1 and address 2. To define them as a cell range we have to use colon within the cell addresses. Hence, ampersand, then double quotation mark, next, colon, then double quotation mark, complete with ampersand again, and the address 2, close bracket, next the criteria will be greater than 0 within double quotation mark, close bracket, and then divide it by 8. 
hit enter. Copy down the formula. OK we have resolved the problem. As you can see, the rows are grouped dynamically. This method is only for the understanding, but you can find the full formula in the description below for your exercise. We have done it for today. See you in the next tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this formula challenge tutorial. If you did, please make sure to like the video, and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more videos on Excel tutorial.